I'm going to go for my big transaction. I think we're going to have to get a little bit nifty once we do this. Um, but I'm I'm looking at uh, the construction right now. Our positions that are open, we're looking at second base, shortstop, and DH. I know there's some big money with that. Our bench pieces um, and our relievers are are pretty open on the board right now. But in, in terms of money, I think I'm confident that we can make this deal uh, and we can still stay under that 287. Now, there is a lot of clamoring for this Japanese free agent, um, a guy who shined uh, really well in WBC and for the last few years um, in the NPB as well. He's been the, by far the best pitcher in Japanese baseball. Um, and a guy who very interestingly, as opposed to previous Japanese pitchers, um, seems to have mechanical as well as personality projectability to an American culture and, and Major League Baseball. Um, I'm going to go with Yashinobu Yamamoto. Now, the big thing with him is the years and the AAV. What's that going to end up looking like? Uh, Yamamoto has been the best pitcher in the NPB, like I said, for the Oryx Buffaloes. Um, and I think a lot of teams are hellish on him because – he has um he has a very MLB type arsenal and mechanics um that previous Japanese pitchers uh tend to stick within a a, a more defined big long wind up Japanese kind of culture of pitching and Yamamoto has a seems like a very innovative mix of, of the best of the Japanese and American pitching minds that that have been in his ear and, that, and that's an awesome impact of this globalization of baseball my concern with Yamamoto how much is it going to end up being uh every rumor we hear Dodgers Cubs Mets Yankees Cardinals Giants um and even I, I miss on a few teams there I'm looking at for a 25 year old from Japan who is as proven as a zero service time player can be um Fangraphs has him projected at eight years to 16 um, actually that's not even fan graphs that is MLB and just baseball and crowdsource projections I think it might need nine what do you think his contract might look like I'd say anywhere from seven to nine years uh, with an opt-out at some point probably in the first three or four years because he if he does get an opt-out at year four let's say he'll be 29 entering the free agency market again um, this is a young 25 year old that we're talking about he's not like he's just turning 25 now um he's at the beginning of his physical prime not even he's just entering it he's proven he's durable as hell he's there i've heard people have concerns about him being a smaller pitcher because he's around 5 10 i want to say but one, yeah at the same time if you look at him and if you look at him on the mound he gets great extension and he has the levers of someone who's a little bit taller like he does not look that short to me um, when he's pitching because he's very athletic and he moves very well. He's an elite mover, and I think that's what makes him so good. Um, he can get that fastball up to the high 90s, but he sits 94 to 96. This is a really good pitcher. Um, the market for him is going to be vast, faster for than anyone else out there. Like That says something, too, because Blake Snell's out there, and he just won a Cy Young, but he's also 30, 31 years old. Um with Yamamoto at his age and his ability to perform on the big stage, you're looking at a contract that's definitely worthy of eight years to 16 mil or something along those lines. Yeah. And the, the word that you used was really good. His movement, his body control is, I find to be very impressive from the clips I've seen of him. Um, and it aligns with his accolades. I mean, he was two time MVP as a pitcher of the NPB, a three time triple crown winner, three time, uh, they're equipped with the, the Sawamura Award, the Cy, the Cy Young in Japan. Um, and that's kind of what I mentioned about like the Japanese and American style kind of combining to someone who even for their small frame has elite movement and speed. Um, you know, the, the only concern is how does that translate with the Major League Baseballs, which are different than NPB. Um, but he showed and ha had some sense in the WBC where he was really solid. Uh, so I don't have that many concerns there. The only thing... Um, 
The only thing I have concerns about is maybe he has more innings or more high pressure innings in Major League Baseball. Um, but he comes, as you said, a young 25 with not as many innings, not as much tax on his arm as Masahiro Tanaka did, for example. Um, Tanaka was the best pitcher in Japan from the time he was 16 years old, uh, was throwing over 200, 250 innings every year leading up to uh, when he signed with the Yankees. I think Yamamoto has, he's been a workhorse, um, but he's a bit more efficient with his body. Hopefully we don't know the results of any physicals. He does not have any tears in his UCL. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm confident with Yamamoto. I think he would be a fantastic Yankee. And I think it really, um, the idea of signing with the Yankees really entices him, hopefully. And he's also considered to be better than Kodai Senga in the NPB, which says something because Kodai Senga was a top three pitcher in the NL last season. Yeah. Um, so that is definitely worth mentioning. 